Joe and Miles here. This time out, we're reviewing Down and Out, the first full-length CD from Fairy. I had these on one of my Scott Biology lectures a couple months back. I uh, still plan on getting back to the biology part. The summer's been crazy and I'm content to do CD reviews for a while. So like I said, we're doing Down and Out by Fairhaven this time around. For those who don't know, these guys are out of Davenport, Iowa. I'm going to do a quick band roll call. we got Landon on guitar and vocals, Sage on drums, Nick on tenor sax, Ben on alto sax, Ben on trombone, and Nathan on bass and vocals. Uh, big ups to Nathan for sending me the promo material and helping make this review happen. Now, Fairhaven, they're a bunch of young, talented guys, not even in college yet, trying to make a go at it on ska scene. Uh, they get roots deep in the 90s, third wave scene, with particular fondness for Doc Bats on the ska side, Blink-182 on the punk side. So, if you have any fondness for a 90s third wave, you're going to feel right at home. They've already mastered the art of the ska cover, both by flattering covers of, say, acts like the Aquabats, and the ironic ska cover by covering uh, artists like Jason Mraz and Rebecca. Frankly, I find this attitude refreshing. Uh, this is the kind of stuff I listen to back in. So to have people draw influence from it and make music in the same vein is definitely something I can get I believe these guys played the first big show opening for the Toasters, my own personal favorite ska band. Uh, as a side note, I'm working on a retrospective on the Toaster Studio album. It's on my YouTube channel. So if that's your sort of thing, I encourage you to check it out. Uh, they basically got the gig lying their asses off about their credentials. That's in their words, not mine. Uh, which I think is just a fantastic story. Uh, so they've since opened for something to do at fire sale and have an upcoming show opening for fish from While I've never had the privilege of seeing these guys play live, I've been following their work online and it seems like they're really busting this. Booking shows, releasing new band artwork, making videos, and of course making music. They're just really putting in hard work. And this CD is a result of that hard work. And I consider it an honor and a privilege to be asked to review it. So let's get on with the review. Right out of the gate, you've got Kenji, a vocal introduction to the group from Kenji. I think this is a pretty great way to start off the album. It's immediately evocative of the opening to another great sky, Losing Street by Less Than Jake, whose intro of This is the Old Dude, Howard J. Reynolds, and you're listening to Less Than Jake was seared into my brain during my formative years. The best part of music is the cool people you meet along the way, and so to have friends paying tribute on your album, that's just a great way to so. Up next is This Town, which has a great driving tempo, just a super fast pace. I used to play trumpet back in the day, but never really could get into the technical skill for double and triple tonguing notes. So to play a song like this would probably cause my jaw to fall right up. The bass line is just fantastic. I mean, it really sounds. And the lyrical content of getting up out of here, leaving behind the boring and the familiar, is just as good with great Down and Out boasts great intro from the horn section. Everyone just working really well together to carry that melody. Uh, there's just a great synergy on this track. Vocals, horns, guitar, drums, just everyone working together that really makes this track work. What makes this track so great is just how tight it is. Uh, you have all the instruments going at once, and yet it never feels crowded. You can really appreciate each individual part, and this track is just a great showcase of the band's talent. I also really like the sort of handoff solo at the end, where it bounces from one member of the horn section to the next without missing a beat. The next two tracks I already have a bit of familiarity with. At the time of filming my Scott and Biology lecture, I contacted the band about using Here to Stay on their EP. 
uh, but they talked me into using Upside Down instead. That is again another surprise. It should be noted that these songs were freshly recorded for Down. Upside Down really benefits from having the tempo picked up an extra notch, and the audio has been rebalanced. It just really whips you into a frenzy, makes you want to jump into the mosh pit, and just dance yourself silly. Just fantastic. Right? Here's Day benefits as well from some fine tuning, really just ratcheting that beat down. Alaska is a track that does a great job of alternating between a slower, more cool reggae tempo and pure third wave in your face aggression. Uh, tempo changes like that must be really hard to pull off to alternate between fast and frenetic to slow and cool and when they really let that beat drop and slow way way down it just works to such a great effect. It sounds really cool. In fact, the very next track, Pixie, makes similar adjustments with the tempo. The intro is just lightning quick, uh, but then things slow down pretty quickly, too, uh, with some great dictating of the pace coming from that lead guitar. Next up, we got Seeds. Seeds! I just love that there's a track on here called Seeds. Perhaps I should explain. Both my wife and I are currently employed in the seed industry, with pretty much all of our household income coming directly from the sale of grass seed for professional athletic fields and animal feed. Okay, I get that the song isn't really about a botanical seed. I get that. I'm just already predisposed to like seed. Now, on the whole, ska and reggae, as musical genres, they're all about playing roots and getting in touch with where the music comes from. Well, you can't have roots without seeds. Again, I'm probably taking the seed metaphor too literal here. That being said, if you like bands like Sublime and the Agrolites, this track is going to be right up your alley. Definitely one of my favorites on the scene. So while Fairhaven have some great, fast, and up-tempo stuff, this track proves they really can make that slow reggae vibe work, and work fantastic. Likewise, what's not to love about a track literally called Poop Punk? If you're looking for a track to showcase that characteristic Aquabat zaniness, this one's got you covered. Uh, the Situation is the last track up on this release, and it's a great one to end on. There's great unison from the brass section, with everyone playing the same melody together in tight formation. I also think this track is probably my favorite vocal track out of the whole scene. I'm having a, hard, a bit of a hard time pinning down where that opinion is coming from, but there's something about the vocals on this track that just really clicks. So there you have it. Down and Out is a great debut CD from a great band. If you like 90s punk and third wave ska, you're gonna find a lot to like on this. These guys are young, they've got a lot of talents. I'm real excited to see what they'll put out next. A lot of hard work has been clearly gone into the production of this CD, and it shows. I wish them all luck in booking future shows and producing new music. I'm really happy to do my part and spread the word, and a big thanks for the free CD, the Mug Caddy, and the stickers. Uh, those were some fantastic bonuses. I slapped one of those stickers on my bumper so I could represent all the way up and down I-5. So Fairhaven, you guys have a fan out here on the West Coast. I'm Two Tone Miles, and thank you for watching.